Bass fishing is so popular, it's amazing how many people have access to it and how easy it is to get into it. When you feel a fish on and you catch your first one, there's nothing like it. Well, bass fishing is exciting for people of all ages, men and women, boys and girls. Bass fishing is everything. It's two years old, you can do it, all the way up to being 92. Probably the main reason for its success is the Sport Fish Restoration Act created a conservation partnership, if you will, between manufacturers, state agencies, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that have a singular vision regarding aquatic conservation in this country. Every time that we sell gear as Johnson Outdoors, we pay an excise tax. And because the Fish Restoration Act commands that those dollars be put back to the resource, we as anglers and outdoor enthusiasts benefit. Bass fishing is the king in Florida. That's where it draws people from all over the country. In fact, all over the world, people come to Florida for our unique Florida species, the Florida largemouth bass. Having good fishing opportunities improves the quality of life, both for Florida residents and folks that come visit us to fish for our Florida bass. The state agencies are very important to this conservation program because they are partners along with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, along with the manufacturers, and that partnership is what makes this sport fish restoration program work. People travel to come to fish, and when you have sustainable fisheries, you have access to that water and great fish stockings, it makes a commercial enterprise where we can have a huge economy and billions of dollars in sales based on the fact we just have healthy fisheries. And that's really made through the Sport Fish Restoration Act because those dollars come back home right in your backyard. Sport Fish Restoration dollars fund an incredible portion of the work we do in the Fish and Wildlife Commission. And of course, Sport Fish Restoration funds live on through our work here daily at the hatchery because we use so much Sport Fish Restoration money in our initial renovations to modernize this facility. We pride ourselves on developing both new anglers and longtime anglers with educational programs, information on where fish are being caught, and sport fish funds really help us develop these programs. Anything that we can do to fund or to educate young anglers to take on the sport that we love makes great stewards for the next generation and makes sure the fisheries will in fact be better off in the next generation than when we left them. One of the things that we're trying to do is to get young families out. Fishing is really a family thing. It's something that is a, a cultural tradition for a lot of anglers. And you know, bringing in the new generation, showing them what opportunities is available, and showing them the life skills and the joy that someone can learn through the sport of fishing is really what we're all about. Public access is very important because there needs to be a way and access for the anglers to get to the water to enjoy the resource. But thanks to all the excise tax funds and the ability that states have and the federal government has, there's more access being made available. We also use that money to provide fishing piers and access for people that don't have a boat. Public fishing areas are of the utmost importance to allow people to get that chance to catch their first fish or their biggest fish. With the help of our partners, the folks in the fishing industry, they contribute so much to helping us attract kids into fishing, to get a retiree that comes to Florida, maybe that hasn't fished in years, but through the folks in the fishing industry, we're able to reach out to educate those folks, to, to show them how easy it is to go catch some big fish and to really have fun on the water. The state fish and wildlife agencies are paramount to this partnership working, this American conservation model. And it's due to the applied expertise and management knowledge on their end that's far reaching, that ensures that our sport fisheries remain healthy, sustainable, not only today, but for future generations to come.